Let's review how to navigate through the 3D model. We currently have four different models loaded here in the viewer. We can control the visibility of these models by clicking on the eyeball icon next to each model name. We can control the scale, orientation, and location of models by going to the model properties. To start navigating through the model, you can zoom in and out by scrolling your middle mouse button. You can then rotate around the model by just holding down the left mouse button and moving your mouse. You can also change the different navigation modes here on the toolbar. Now holding down the left mouse button, we can easily pan. We can also look around. And then lastly, we can easily walk through the model. We can also navigate through predefined views of the model. You can also select on objects in the model and then zoom to that selected object. You can also select objects and then hide them based on the selection. We can also easily add section planes through the model. By just dragging the section plane, we can easily move in and out through different cross sections. Not only can you control the visibility of an entire model, you can also control the visibility of different objects. So here let's turn on and off the columns, then the beams. Three D annotations and red lines can also be applied in the model. Those red lines can also be associated to a to do if you'd like. At any time, if you'd like to reset the model, just press the reset model. This will then zoom you back out, show all hidden model objects, as well as delete any annotations. Depending on the type of model and what information was published in that model, you can select individual objects and inquire and review the properties that are associated with that object.